My name is Marcus Ogden. I'm originally from Washington, D.C. I'm going to tell you my story as far as what I've been through, the ups and downs, the curves and sway, to help you avoid my mistakes and at the same time help you transition successfully with some strategies I'm currently using now in my everyday life as a motivational speaker. Be professional in everything that you do because I was not that and I lost everything. I played for six years in the NFL. As an athlete, I had an immensely difficult time transitioning after football. So I figured out that I was good with marketing, I was good with leadership, and I was good with people. So I decided to start a construction company. As the company started to grow, unfortunately, I started coming to work late. I stopped worrying about what was going to happen as far as getting the jobs accomplished. I lost control of my field and my office. We had mutiny because I was the one who was not setting the example. I was not setting the bar high enough for us to keep going up the ranks. I literally got down to my last thousand dollars. I said, you know what, I can become a football coach. I enjoyed it, I loved it, but I said, you know what, Marcus, you're not making enough money doing this right now because you're just starting out at the bottom. So this is what I did on top of being a football coach to support my family. I became a janitor. I made $8.25 an hour working the graveyard shift. You don't have the idea of the sleepless nights that I had. I was literally a week or two away from being homeless because I couldn't afford next month's rent. And I said, this is not gonna be my life. I have two choices. I could either A, blame everybody in society, continue to drink middle lights 12 on a Friday night, or I can get off my butt, take accountability and say, you know what, Marcus, you made the mistake, nobody else. People will respect you more if you take accountability. When you shift blame, society can't stand it. Transition is never easy. It is difficult to start at the bottom because nobody wants to hear what you have to say. I couldn't pay anybody to hear me talk. For 30 months, I didn't get hired to one job. I decided to write a book. It's called Sleepless Nights. That's my story. That's my best-selling autobiography. What that did was it gave me a platform and a leg to stand on that I deserve to talk in front of an audience. So now speaking in front of national companies. I've spoken for seven Fortune 500 companies in the last 18 months. What resonates with me about Marcus is he had hurdle after hurdle after hurdle, but he didn't let it get him down. And his leadership that he experienced in his growing up and working with the NFL really translated to his future. He's excitable. He speaks with passion. He's speaking from experience. He's wholeheartedly trying to make sure you do not make the same mistakes that he made. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. The best leaders can help others by action, not by words. Develop the idea of being a leader. If you think about it, if you see it in your mind, write it out, develop it. Ignite the idea. Passion from within inside will get you where you want to go. Inspire others around you to be great. And the fourth step, repeat. Well, the thing that I thought was very interesting was how Marcus was able to relate to his audience and engage them and kind of come from a common place where everyone would understand, as opposed to speaking about himself and his experiences and not relating to the audience. There's a difference between ordinary and extraordinary, and that difference is just that little bit of extra. He's going to elevate everybody in that room. Everybody's gonna walk out of there feeling 10 feet tall and bulletproof, but more importantly, they're gonna have life lessons. I could have stayed down or get up. It's not how you get knocked down, it's how you get back up. That's the key to success in this world.